up here clear skies amazingly clear skies today with seemingly normal clouds anyway um, if your washer uh, just hums when you turn it on okay so you turn it on it's trying to go but it doesn't go just hums fills up then it just stops just hums then you probably have a bad capacitor. I've come across a couple of these motors. Normally I'll take the motor out, lube it up a little bit, and make sure it runs or doesn't run without uh, hooked up without being hooked up to the transmission or water pump. It's important to make sure that the water pump is not clogged and binding up the motor. So what typically happens when you hear that motor hum it's trying to run is it's going to be this capacitor now this capacitor here is located up in here sometimes on some models and then some models it's located down here by the motor and so here's a little uh, disclaimer for you this video is for informational purposes only so if your motor just simply hums then it's likely it's going to be this capacitor right here. And sometimes you can look at them and see they're corroded inside. This one is not corroded. It's not noticeably bad looking, but it is bad. So I'm going to replace that and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, this video particularly applies to the Kenmore Whirlpool design, what they call the direct drive models. And sometimes if you if your motor is spinning and you hear the hum, it's likely that the drive coupler is bad. Now this has a good drive coupler. The dri drive coupler is somewhat worn, but still usable. And so this is a new one, this is a used one. What happens is the spine in the inside of the drive coupler wears out basically. This is the fuse in the system. If you do uh, heavy loads and stuff like that, you may burn this out or you may burn your clutch out. So, yeah. If you hear your motor spinning, if it's spinning, then it's going to be the drive coupler. If it's humming and not moving, then it's going to be that capacitor. And once again, the capacitor capacitors are sometimes located up in the timer console and or down uh, by the motor. There's only normally one capacitor. Okay, bonus video. Here's one for you guys. Listen to this one. Turn on spin. What's that sound? Let's check it out. Okay, so if we pull the front panel off, and we disconnect the motor from the transmission and bypass the lid switch and turn on spin. So that sound, the original, the original sound was from the transmission. So the tra it's not, it's not the motor that's making the sound. It's the transmission. So the transmission on this one is shot. And this pump is in the way. So that wasn't the pump that was making the noise. It's the transmission that's making the noise. So the transmission on this one is shot. So um, if this video helped you, please send me a donation. You may also be interested in my How to Make Money in the Appliance Repair Business course. And I take two new students per year. And if you're interested, you can also contact me regarding that. Thanks for watching.